water depletion test this is in case of the diabetes insipidus so looking at the procedure it includes uh, firstly this test is started at 4 am by checking the baseline urine osmolality and after this the deprive the patient of water so water is deprived and this is till 12 pm that is roughly around 8 hours and then there is recheck of the urine osmolality so now looking at the types of so here the central di the urine osmolality before the water deprivation so before the water deprivation it is the normal in case of normal we're looking at the values in normal before water deprivation it is normal and the urine osmolality after water deprivation this is after water deprivation it is increased whereas urine osmolality after desmopressin administration after desmopressin administration there is no change now looking at the central di in case of central di the urine osmolality before water deprivation is low and in case the urine osmolality after the water deprivation so this is after the water deprivation in case of after water deprivation there is no change now urine osmolality after the administration of the desmopressin in case of administration of the desmopressin in case of central di there is greater than 50 percent increase from baseline next we are looking at the nephrogenic di in terms of nephrogenic di the urine osmolality before the water deprivation is low and the urine osmolality after water deprivation is no change and the urine osmolality after desmopressin administration so in such cases it is less than 10 percent increase from baseline now looking at the primary polydipsia so here the urine osmolality before the water deprivation is low and the urine osmolality after water deprivation it increases then after the administration of desmopressin in terms of administration of desmopressin there is no change so other point to note is that the normal urine osmolality such cases it is nothing but 500 to the 850 milliosmo per liter